அவங்க இங்கிலீஷில் பேசுவாங்க Capital of liver transplant, Dr. Rela, who trained uh, in England, I think he's known everywhere in the world, came back to his country here and developed an absolute 300, well, the more. And not only that, but uh, he contributed to the world, he organized this uh, meeting that is all co-organized with very important society, it would be the president, who is already the president of the IFTS. And we are all coming here to learn or to communicate about the living daughter liver transplantation, which is a very important procedure, not only to save life for people with liver disease, but we have to do a big operation in patients who are very healthy, so we have to be very careful. And we really want to have absolutely no problem, and this is one of the topics here, how can we be safe also on the, on the dollar. I'm from Switzerland, a very small country compared to uh, India. We do also a few of these procedures. We have more cadaveric organs, so organs that come from people who are, who are dead, but there's still a lot of mortality on the waiting list. This is not enough, so we also have to do this in donors, and we have to go in country like India and others to learn. India more than 15 years, and I'm really happy to be here all the time. I think I contribute a little bit at least to the Indian liver transplant, because I was in the first cases here with my colleagues in India, and I saw the advancement and success here. Uh, Mohamed Rena invited me for this consensus meeting as he is the president of the International Liver Transplant Society. We are now doing smaller graphs, not to harm the donor, but more benefit maybe with the new techniques to the recipients. So there will be a lot of issues all around the world in this subject. So we decided to make a consensus to get the same idea, to make everything same in the world that the success rates can be higher. So we were talking about this yesterday for all day, and now we started the master class meeting in Chennai. As uh, Pierre said, Chennai is now the mecca of uh, liver transplantation. Uh, he is doing a very good job, actually. We all have to be proud of him and he is doing very good robotic surgery, which we try to learn this, even though we started earlier the living donor as Turkey, and we are one of the leaders in the world, we still didn't start the robotic surgery. And I wish tomorrow and the day after tomorrow, we'll be together in the OR and see his skills and try to learn from him. <coughs> and I think you should all uh, publish or publicize this, that people know how good the things are here, not only surgical-wise, but also the organization-wise. Uh, it's very nice to be here, and we are enjoying our time, not only uh, sharing our experience in living donor liver transplantation, also we are sharing our friendship, and we miss each other because the last couple of years, due to pandemic, we couldn't see each other, we couldn't chat, we couldn't laugh together, we couldn't hug each other, and I would like to thank Mohammed for giving us this uh, opportunity, and I believe he's going to do more, better, more beautiful things for himself, for his hospital, and for Chennai people, and I would like to congratulate him, and I would like to thank you all for coming and listening to us. Thank you. Professor Yaman, what was going on in liver transplantation, to share the latest knowledge, and to share the best practice in treating patients. I've been coming to India for 30 years. 30 years ago, the thought of doing liver transplantation was a distant dream. Probably 10, 15 years ago, there was a major change in terms of what was happening. Instead of doctors being exported to Europe and America, they were returning here to India and building centers of excellence. Mohammed was one of the people in that first wave coming back to India using the knowledge that they gained in the UK in Mohammed's case or in America or Japan or wherever and have transformed healthcare for liver disease in India. Now it's visible. Everyone can see how dramatic the treatment of liver transplantation is for patients who face death without this treatment. 
The, the challenge for India is the huge population. You know, for the UK, we're 60 million people. We do a thousand transplants each year. For India, how do you achieve that level of health care? How do you ensure all the people living here get access to best care and best medicine? And this, this is going to be a journey. It just doesn't happen overnight. But centers here in Chennai with Mohammed show best practice. And now instead of people going to Europe to learn, people who are coming from around the world to see best practice with living donor liver transplantation in India. The big challenge for India is how to develop cadaveric transplantation. That's transplantation from organs that come from dead people. How to get the population to accept that, how to use the organs, and how to ensure this treatment is applicable to, to everyone that needs this treatment. So I'd like to congratulate Mohammed on his journey through liver transplantation, where he's arrived today in establishing this big center of excellence here in Chennai. And I would urge you to encourage the population to support organ donation. I'll take a little different approach to my introduction and your kind presence here. Uh, there are many similarities I see between uh, uh, Italy, my country, and uh, India. Uh, the same uh, uh, approach to family life and uh, the same friendly faces you find in India as you find in, in Italy. Uh, the food is terrific. Uh, I think it's my second favorite food and now probably my first favorite food. And you know the Italian food is, is famous all over the world. The traffic is the same. So we have that in common. It's, it's terrible here, it's terrible. Conference it represents really the top of the discussion in liver transplantation today, and it's fascinating about how in a, in a short span of probably 10 15 years now we are here discussing what is really important and what will project our profession in the next 10 to 15 years. And every single topic has been addressed properly here. Thank you to the, to the leadership of uh, Professor Reva which is really incredible if you think about that we would never think that we're going to hire surgeons coming from centers in India, from professor centers in the United States to teach us how to perform proper liver surgery. Just to let you an idea how important it is, how restricted it is that market, and instead of how professionally excellent these surgeons have become to be able to uh, profess outside the, the, this, this country, outside India. And it's all thanks to this incredible evolution that has been led by uh, Professor uh, Reva. So I think this is really what really makes uh, in this, this lack of boundaries, this incredible open to all of us coming from all over the world, coming here to, to teach and to learn has been probably one of the most fascinating experiences I've had by coming to Chennai today, and thanks to uh, Professor Reva. So I study group on living on liver transplantation. And uh, my career is uh, almost 30 years in the living donor transplantation. And uh, it is, the Japan did not begin the living donor stuff, uh, living donor transplantation, but they developed the LDLT and make it a standard uh, medical care. And it spread all over the world. So, uh, but uh, we uh, 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 developed and then the, the learn each other together and uh, uh, make the LDLD as a standard uh, medical uh, care all over the world. And especially, I'm very interested in the transplant and immunology. So, the transplantation is not only the surgery. We need science, uh, immunology, infection, nutrition. So, uh, we are surgeon, but the transplant surgeon is not only the specialist. Specialist of all scientific field. And uh, also, the, the transplant surgeon has their own strong opinion in each issue. So you can imagine it is very difficult to make consensus among us. But as 
under his strong and excellent leadership, we make many, many good consensus in small force size syndrome in LDLD, which is the most serious uh, issue in this field. I am very learn a lot, and we also learn a lot, and uh, make us the renewal uh, with, uh, yesterday. So I am enjoying uh, today's meeting and tomorrow's meeting. So congratulations, Professor Lena, for the great meeting. Thank you very much. But in particular, I have seen the evolution uh, of Mohamed Hela, I think uh, over more than 30 years. And I remember that I was the first uh, to invite him to an international meeting when he was a very young and talentful uh, surgeon. I think this is worthwhile to say. And of course, because of this, we had a close uh, relationship and friendship. I must say, I admire uh, uh, Mohamed uh, Rela not because he is standing beside me, but because of three reasons. The first one is his unbelievable uh, dynamic uh, behavior to bring every year together at one place all the experts, uh, or most of the experts in the world of liver transplantation, aiming that the local transplant community improves the care of the liver diseased patients in India. The second thing is that he has a strive to uh, perfect uh, surgery and make especially the donation of a liver uh, safe. And this is also the reason that we had yesterday a consensus conference which in fact aims at making more reliable and safe uh, the operations for those heroes who gave a part of their liver to their uh, beloved ones. And the third one, and this is for me maybe the most important one, is his unbelievable drive and he succeeded around Hinduism and so on. We appreciate even more, maybe not everyone in the Western world, what an achievement this is. I think this is absolutely a fantastic achievement and should serve as an example for all populations in the world who still have doubt that transplantation is a useful uh, medical treatment. So I want to congratulate him here before all of you because I think he even deserves an applause for this. Uh, liver transplantation started in the United States <coughs> with Dr. Starzl, and now it has spread all across the world. And you see this amazing collection of surgeons. And we represent a, a movement of people who want to work together to make the world a better place, regardless of our cultures. Um, living donor liver transplant was very small when it started. Uh, Professor Igawa pointed out the Japanese took, we did a few cases in 1989 in, in Chicago. Uh, the Japanese surgeons developed it into a real thing. It came around through Europe, the United States, and now India is becoming the biggest living donor center in the world. But there's so much more to do, as Professor Clavien pointed out. Living donor uh, in a few wonderful, excellent, world-class hospitals in India will not be sufficient to uh, uh, fight the burden of liver disease in India, which is enormous. So it will require the development of systems, the development of disease donation, and all the other things. But uh, the pioneers like Dr. Rela have, uh, have brought world-class surgery to India, and we are so happy to be part of that. The consensus of living donor liver transplantation, the consensus is we need to have an agreement about how we manage patients because there are so many different opinions and everybody is doing their own things. The, cons the, the purpose of the consensus is for all the specialists who are in the field come together and agree on one way to do things or at least agree on the right way to do things and we make recommendations. And the recommendations will be published in big journeys. And everybody is somewhat duty-bound 
to follow at least or not deviate too much from this statements that we make in the consensus. So it's a very important meeting because we are actually leading people around the world how to do things. So that's what a consensus is. But is it something that goes to the operation of Yes, very much related to an operation how to manage. This is the consensus when the Chinna liver report every patient is a bite It's about small facile syndrome that we see. So it's about how to manage patients who receive a small amount of liver. Is it something to do with the X percentage of our donor's liver? That's correct, yes. What is the percentage? No, it's about not just that. But uh, when you put a certain amount of liver, and if that liver is not enough for the patient, how to manage that patient? That's the consensus was about. It's a very large subject matter. We were discussing this all day yesterday. Cadaver donation? Yeah. I, I think Tamil Nadu is leading India in cadaver donation. I think that message should go out to the government and we should congratulate the government. Of all the states in India, I think there are some states like Maharashtra and Telangana probably are also donating. Tamil Nadu is donating, but it's not enough for us. We, we do, I think in Tamil Nadu there are about 120, 130 donors a year, which is better than most other states. But we ourselves are doing close to 300 liver transplants, so it's not enough. So that's one of your job, is to promote organ donation as well. 300 per year? Huh? 290 last year we did per year. We have done more than 2,400 transplants so far, since I returned back to Chennai. Now, what will be the ratio between living and cadaver? Oh, only 15% are cadaver. Previously, we used to do 30% cadaver, but now we have got 20 centers in Tamil Nadu, all sharing. So our share of the organs have come down. How does it benefit the donor? The consensus is about how does it benefit? We can take small amount of liver from the donor, so rather than taking large amount of liver from the donor. And if we can effectively use a small liver and success, get a successful outcome for the recipient, that's the whole idea, instead of taking large amount of liver from the donor. Does it differ from the nation to the percentage of donor liver? No, we, we generally have consensus about how much liver we can take and all of that. Those are all established already. Okay. You see, I hope you write a வணக்கம் இன்னைக்கு இந்த ITC சோலால நேத்து இன்னைக்கும் ஒரு பெரிய மீட்டிங் ஆர்கனைஸ் பண்ணிருக்கோம் மெடிக்கல் கான்ஃபரன்ஸ் இது வந்து லிவர் டிரான்ஸ்பிளான் பத்தி நடத்துற மெடிக்கல் கான்ஃபரன்ஸ் கிட்டத்தட்ட 750 பேர் அட்டெண்ட் பண்றாங்க இத இதுல கிட்டத்தட்ட 250 பேர் வெளிநாட்டில இருந்து வந்த பெரிய டாக்டர்ஸ் இவங்க எல்லாமே லிவர் டிரான்ஸ்பிளான் ஸ்பெஷலிஸ்ட் இது கன்சென்சஸ் கான்ஃபரன்ஸ்ன்னு சொல்லுவோம் கன்சென்சஸ் கான்ஃபரன்ஸ்னா இந்த ஃபீல்டில் இருக்கிற எல்லாருமே டாப் டாக்டர்ஸ் உலகத்தில் இருக்கிற அத்தனை டாப் டாக்டர்ஸும் ஒன்றா உட்காந்து ஒரு பிரச்சனை லிவர் டிரான்ஸ்பிளான்ட்ல ஒரு 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 ப்ராப்ளம் இருக்குன்னா அதை எப்படி மேனேஜ் பண்ணணும் அப்படின்னு ஒரு அக்ரிமெண்ட்டுக்கு வர்றது எல்லாருமே இந்த அக்ரிமெண்ட் எல்லாம் கலெக்ட் பண்ணி இதை ஒரு பேப்பர் ஒரு பப்ளிகேஷனாக எழுதி உலகத்தில் இருக்கிற டாப் ஜேர்னலில் பப்ளிஷ் பண்ணா உலகத்தில் இருக்கிற மற்ற டாக்டர்ஸ் எல்லாம் நாங்கள் எப்படி சொல்கிறோமோ அதை ஃபாலோ பண்ணுங்கிற மாதிரி ஒரு ரூல் இது இப்படிப்பட்ட கன்சென்சஸ் கான்ஃபரன்ஸ் இங்கே நடந்ததில்லை இவ்வளோ பெரிய கன்சென்சஸ் கான்ஃபரன்ஸ் இந்தியாவில் நடந்ததில்லை எல்லா உலகத்தில் எல்லா பகுதியில் இருந்தும் ஜப்பான் கொரியா சிங்கப்பூர் மலேசியா இங்கே இந்தியாவிலேருந்து எடுத்துக்கிட்டிங்கன்னா பங்களாதேஷ் ஸ்ரீலங்கா அமெரிக்காவிலேருந்து யூரோப்லேருந்து எல்லா ஆப்ரிக்காவிலேருந்து எல்லா நாட்டிலேருந்தும் அங்கே இருக்கிற லிவர் டிரான்ஸ்பிளான்ட்லேயே யார் யார் பெரிய டாக்டர்ஸோ அவங்கெல்லாம் இங்கே வந்து சேர்ந்து இப்படி ஒரு மீட்டிங் நடத்துகிறோம் இன்றைக்கி மீட்டிங் சாயந்தரத்தோடு முடிஞ்சிடும் இன்றைக்கி வந்து லெக்சர்ஸு நேற்று கன்சென்சஸ்ஸு நாளைக்கு என்ன பண்ண போகிறோன்னா 
ரோபோட்டிக் கேள்விப்பட்டிருப்பீங்க ரோபோட்டிக் சர்ஜரி இந்த இந்த டோனர் ஆப்ரேஷனை ரோபோட்டிக் சர்ஜரியாக பண்ணி அதை இங்கே டெலகாஸ்ட் பண்ணி இங்கே ஒரு ஐநூறு டாக்டர் உட்காந்து நம்ம எப்படி அந்த ஆப்ரேஷனை பண்ணுறோம் அப்படின்னு உட்காந்து பார்ப்பாங்க அந்த அந்த ஆப்ரேஷன் வந்து நாளைக்கு வச்சுருக்கோம் ஏன்னா ரோபோட்டிக் சர்ஜரியில் உலகத்துலேயே நம்ம தான் அதிகமாக நம்மனா அதிகமாக பண்ணுறதே ஒரு மூணு நாள் நாட்டில் தான் பண்ணுறாங்க பல நாடுகளில் நம்ம எப்படி பண்ணுறோம் இந்த மாதிரி பண்ணுறது இல்லை அதையும் நாளைக்கு டெமன்ஸ்ட்ரேட் பண்ண போகிறோம் இதுதான் இந்த மீட்டிங்கோடைய பர்பஸ்ஸு இது வருஷம் வருஷம் நடத்துவோம் ஆனால் இந்த வருஷம் வந்து ஒரு பெரிய லெவலில் இந்த மீட்டிங் நடத்திட்டு இருக்கோம் தேங்க்யூ